Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Chantal. I'm on the rooftop of my Bali Villa because this is the next space that I'm going to be working on. And I thought it'd be cool to do the intro here. But of course, as soon as I come out here, all the dogs, the wind, everything's going on. So I hope that you can hear me okay. So in Bali, we are spoiled for choice in terms of design inspiration. And especially with the hospitality, like your restaurants, your cafes, all your eateries are really well designed and beautiful. So today I'm gonna go to a number of um, places that have a really strong outdoor design. Really just to get some inspiration for the rooftop. There might be things, you know, ideas that I pick up that I can use up here, as well as to give you some inspiration too. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell for new video releases. One last thing, if you are looking for some practical, tangible help in creating your ideal outdoor space, I have a useful guide that is really comprehensive, provides loads of tips, ideas, resources to help you get started. The link is in the description below. So first up, we head to Yema Kitchen, which is in Changu. This is such a beautiful spot. It's got like a whimsical feel to it that is just so pretty. And at the front is like a, a pool and there's some tables around there with this huge, beautiful tree. But the real gem of this place is the pergola section at the back. As you walk through, you see all these draping flowers and plants, and there's also a little den for these rabbits at the back too. Um, since I came here the last time, this section is a new addition, so a Moroccan style um, sit down area with the drapes and the lights and this shisha. Um, it's such a good concept and if I wasn't going to do a Balinese design, I'd definitely go for something like that. Maybe the next one. I stayed here for a minute and had a meal to eat which was really good and then we moved on to the next. Nook Bali is one of my favourites to go to when I just want to chill and have a beautiful view of a rice field. It's a really relaxed restaurant overlooking rice fields and it serves Western and Balinese food and cocktails. But it's just so relaxing. It's quite minimal actually um, in its decor on this side but it has quite a few different aspects to it. So this is a new part of the setup and it's, like I said, just beautiful rice field views. It's quite a big restaurant and it's split into different corners. So this little section here is quite artsy and then you have other bits, I think this is for the smokers, all with the same kind of aesthetic, but um, yeah, just a slightly different look. But it's all very um, relaxed, you know, you'll see lots of cane furniture, um, beautiful pendants and just plants everywhere. With both the Nook and Yema, I really like the concept of using lighting which you would normally have indoors, outdoors. Uh, I think that's just so clever and I really love in this restaurant the way that they've used massive oversized pots, just very creative and very unique. When you look at it really, it's quite, it's quite minimal. Um, but they've just used really beautiful organic materials and the plants are the decor. Like they're on the walls, they're hanging, they're just everywhere. Different types of plants and foliage and they really add so much to the space. Alright, so after grabbing a quick drink, it's time to head off to the next spot.
Sister Dumpling is a Chinese dumpling restaurant in the heart of Barawa, Changu. Inside is quite bright and quirky, but no one sits inside. The main attraction is all about the outdoor area and that beautiful right field view. The other thing that I really find inspiring about this place is the use of art. So you'll see the large mural here on this wall, as well as art on the back wall. And that's something that's easily doable in outdoor design. You know, you can be really creative how you can bring art outside. Okay, so next up we head to Ken Bali, and this is in Umaras. This is just a really sweet looking garden cafe and they've really done a great job here. It's on a busy street but when you sat here you kind of forget about all of that because of the way that they have designed this space. So they have these little tables here and then to the right they've got like an undercover area which is just filled with hanging plants. It's a great space to work, you get a lot of people working from there. Um, but yeah, I think they've done really well, it's so beautiful. This is another beautiful restaurant with a killer rice field view. It's in an area called Karabakan and it's quite an open plan restaurant. Again, quite minimal, but that rice view is everything. It's possible to even walk down this path here if you want to get closer to the rice field. I'm not doing that today because I've got white shoes on, but I've done it in the past and it's just so dreamy. If you ever come and you're able to visit this place, I definitely recommend a little stroll down here. Inside's pretty cute too. I love this little station that they've got set up here with some quirky little pieces. But I also love what they've done with the, the bathroom. The sink is stunning, look at it. And then they've got a beautiful faucet, a mirror, and these kind of um, gold tone things that they have on the wall. I like that they've really taken the time out to make the bathroom look really good because too often that's a space that's neglected, as we know. Bayes Courtyard in Semenyak is the most cutest, romantic little courtyard space. We just fell upon it one time after going to the gelati shop, which is attached to it. In the centre, there's this beautiful, huge fern tree which just takes centrepiece. It's so big and lush. I think the dainty little furniture which they've got scattered across the place really gives it that romantic feel. And that's like if you are wanting to have that courtyard or that little romantic look, that's something to think about. And then towards the back of the little cafe, there's this stunning plant wall that, I don't know, it just looks like something out of a fairy tale. The last place I want to feature in this video is called the Garden Eatery. It's in Karabakan. The space is just really long and it features plants and just little nooks of areas where you can sit in different places along the way with beautiful umbrellas and at the side of it is this really beautiful rice field as well. I actually went back on two consecutive days to have the chicken satay <laughs> because it was so nice. Probably the best that I've had since I've been in Bali to be honest. So I hope you found something inspiring in this video to help you with your outdoor space and don't forget that there is a useful resource that I have that can also help you. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and until next time, I'll catch you soon.